morning show. It's the three minute grill and in the rush of the holiday season, it's easy to overlook any kind of healthy food and in the rush of all the other goodies and treats that are brought into your office, it's really hard to overlook that. Today, Dr. James Painter of the EIU School of Family and Consumer Sciences is here with a couple of students. There are some other ones off, off camera. And you're gonna show us some healthy things. Why is it so hard to do this? Why is it so hard to eat healthy? <laughs> You know, it's hard because we have the wrong things in front of us, and the wrong things are easy to get to. And so one of the keys is, and, and there's a lot of this pre-prepared healthy food available in the grocery store, we just don't get it. We need to get it, have it home so it's ready, we can use it. And, and it, make it, it makes it much easier and quicker to prepare, because if it takes yeah. too long, <laughs> I'm not going to cook it. So. <laughs> now, Carrie O'Donnell is here. Now, you've got a couple of one-minute meals that, that you, you say can be done in one minute. Mm -hmm. Okay. Show me. <laughs> First, we're going to be making a chicken Caesar salad. Basically, just open the lettuce, pour it in. Okay, and this is just romaine lettuce, romaine. which is really good. Okay. Really good. I'm not going to put it on. And then we're going to add some broccoli. Now, is broccoli typically a part of a, of a Caesar salad? <laughs> it's not. It's not a traditional Caesar salad ingredient, but since typically Americans don't consume the recommended amount of fruits and vegetables, and that's that's very that's true. Why we're <laughs> okay, and it's all these are all ready to go. So, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to open up the chicken, which is pre-cooked. You can find it in any grocery store. Dribble it in there. There you go. Yep. Oh, that's okay. I'll We'll and clean that up later. <laughs> some Parmesan cheese. Now, is Parmesan cheese a high-fat cheese, or is it... It's pretty much okay, isn't it? No, it's pretty much low-fat. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then croutons. I think the longest part of this is opening the bag. Well, there you go. <laughs> and then we just pour it in. Okay. And we're going to put some Caesar dressing, light done right. Okay. You can find that in any grocery store. Were you timing this? Did we do it in a minute? Pretty much. <laughs> she just said one minute in my ear, but I think. <laughs> okay. So it's, all it's I have ready to do to is go. toss it and it's ready to go. Yep. Ready to go. Okay, and that's and it's very healthy because mm -hmm. you've used low fat dressings and all these other things aren't very high in fat. And you get at least one serving of protein and one serving of vegetables, right? Mm -hmm. Two if you eat a lot of it, right? That's right. You can get three or four if you just <laughs> want to. Pretty much all the main food groups based okay. on the food guide. Parents. Good idea. Now you have another one minute meal that you mm -hmm. will switch sides here. This is going to be a spinach turkey wrap. And these, again, are all convenience things that they're all mm -hmm. ready, ready to go. You have a spinach tortilla. You're going to take your deli turkey, two slices, or more for the meat lovers. <laughs> and you're going to take some shreds. You can find these, too, in the... And that's already shredded up, so you don't have to worry about doing up. it yourself. Yep. Sprouts. Some tomatoes. Okay. okay. And a dab of honey mustard. And that's optional, so if you don't want that on there, but right. <laughs> why wouldn't you want that on there? No, because it's a little juicy, and you roll it up. You roll it up, and you're ready to go. And there you go. Okay, and that took less than a minute. How easy. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Coming up in our next segment on the 3-Minute Grill, we're going to take a look at some of the ways to make your desserts a little less, well, sinful this time of year. We'll be back. Morning show. We've seen healthy entrees, but how do you get healthy desserts? Dr. Jim Painter with the F Consumer and Food Sciences. Is that the program? Family and Consumer Family Sciences. Family and Consumer Sciences at Eastern Illinois University is here. He brought two of his students to join us. Tracy Freeling and Maggie Cordy are here to share some recipes with us. Nice to have you this morning. Thanks. All right. First, we're going to start with Tracy, and you've got some. You've got something that looks awfully good right there. <laughs> What we have right here are some pies, and it's very important when you're making holiday food choices, especially with dessert, there's many different choices, many healthier choices. Mm -hmm. So what we have right here is we have a pecan pie, which has about 500 calories, 455 calories a slice. We have a regular pumpkin pie, which has just under 300. And then right here we have a pumpkin custard pie made with Splenda, made with fat-free mm. evaporated milk. And this right here has 108 calories a slice, and it has a high fiber crust. So we're actually going to have you try this one and tell us what you think of it. Well, <laughs> you don't have to ask that twice. I'd be glad to. Let me ask while you're dishing this up, are there other differences amongst these pies? Obviously, the ingredients are a little bit different, but... There's a little bit different texture in this one because this is a custard pie, so it's prepared a little differently. Okay. All right, now what am I supposed to be tasting for? Just tell us what you think of it. It's right. supposed to taste good, hopefully. It does. And we could even spruce that up a little bit, put a little bit of whipped cream on there. <laughs> you can just feed me for the whole three and a half minutes. That would work. <laughs> but I mean, we should talk a little bit, too, about it, lots of calories in, in, in some pies. But you said this is reduced calorie, right? That is reduced calorie because it's made with a Splenda. So mm -hmm. it has the only sugar in this is in the crust. 
from the, the crust is made with all bran. So mm -hmm. all has a little bit of sugar in it. That's where all the sugar is coming from. Now Splenda is different too, Jim, in that you can you can cook with Splenda, but some of the other sugar substitutes you might not be able to. That's right, and some of them had some problems with health and secure, safety issues. This mm -hmm. one has not, and this one has really come through over the last uh, decade or so, and it's been clean. Okay, well that's good news. Thank you very much for that, Tracy. We appreciate it. Very tasty. <laughs> <laughs> now, Maggie, you are going to show us something about cookies. Yes, um, these are sugar cookies, but they are not made with sugar. Okay. Um, uh, we use a sugar substitute, okay. which is a lot healthier, and it also is important to, when you're making cookies, to um, pick, like, these are oatmeal, so these would be healthier than the sugar because sure. they have oats and raisins. Okay, so, so you were adding healthier things to kind of make, right. make the recipe in general right. healthier? So whenever you're cooking, just use substitutions that you think would be healthier. Okay, was there anything in particular you did to these cookies other than the sugar substitute? Um, not really, just taking out the sugar. Okay. And then if you want to spruce it up with some icing or glaze. Yeah, I noticed what you did here. You brought some pink and some green <laughs> glaze. <laughs> um, you made these? Right. The glaze is made with um, fat-free Philadelphia cream cheese. Okay. And then... Um, Go, keep going. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> munch it. And then also Splenda and a little bit of skim milk. So it's very easy to prepare. These are good. Is there a concern about making something maybe with a sugar substitute that's too dry? Um, yeah, I mean, is that, is that the reason is that something might be dry, or is it just because it I It is. Can't when cook? you take the fat out, <laughs> you take the sugar out, sometimes things are dry. And if you try one of the sugar cookies, you can see that those are a little drier than normal. Mm -hmm. But you can, by putting a glaze on the top, uh, correct that, and they can really be very tasty substitutes. That's not that dry. That's, that's quite good. All right, see, now my mouth is full, so <laughs> excuse me for a second. Dr. Jim Painter, Maggie, and Tracy, thank you very much for your recipes this morning. We will have these on the website a little bit later today. We have them on now. Gabrielle is giving me a thumbs up. Go to WCIA.com, click on the morning show link, and you can find the recipes there.